peeps. Today is Thursday, April 2nd. This is take two for this video. I'm sure you can tell I messed up something. So here we go again. Loading online learning lesson four. Today, our agenda, what, why, and how? We're going to do our read aloud today. You're going to do some no red ink, and then you're going to do some text and vocabulary questions. So we are going to look back at the text that you all read yesterday. Okay, it was quite a large text. So as we would if we were in regular class, we're going to go back through and answer some questions and look at some vocabulary from that text. Why are we doing that? Well, it's a larger text, one. It's the largest text that you've had in about 15 days, right, since we were back at school. And we want to be able to look more closely at the text and what the text is actually saying so that we're all on the same page and we actually understand what's going on. At the end of class today, you're going to know that you're in good shape when you have submitted the Google Doc that I'm going to show you that has um, questions about the text and then vocabulary for you to examine. So our read aloud. As we are moving through our um, approaching adulthood unit, right, unit one, where we are right now, um, I want you guys to start thinking about what does it mean to be an adult, right? What sort of adult things are some of the characters in the books that we're reading, particularly Roll of Thunder, Hear My Cry, experiencing that are making them sort of go from a child to an adult, an adolescent to an adult, okay? What lessons do they have to learn that make them grow up? So I want you to find a cozy spot to sit and we're gonna listen to chapter seven. So here we go, pause me and click chapter seven. Welcome back. So no red ink, you know the drill. You're going to set a timer for yourself for 15 minutes and you are going to click on adjectives practice number two. Find a cozy spot, pause me, and get going. Hello again. When do kids become adults? Text, vocabulary, and questions. So I'm going to exit this and I'm actually going to click on your meant for today. So here it is. This is the assignment for all eighth graders. So you might be able to see it's in a different font than I usually use. That's okay. This is Miss Linda Muth's preferred font. So you are going to go back through the text from yesterday, right? When do kids become adults? And you're going to look at some of the test questions. Evaluate, analyze, evaluate, synthesize, right? Then you're going to scroll down and here you're going to find critical vocabulary. So, for example, what have you done that made you feel autonomous? You are not going to be able to answer these questions unless you have already gone through and done the vocabulary. Okay, so that was from a few days ago already. You are not going to be able to answer these questions unless you have done the reading. So when I say done the vocabulary, I mean if you read through the story and you actually read the vocabulary in the margins and you have an understanding of what the vocabulary means, you're gonna be fine. If you haven't done that, you're probably gonna struggle. So I am expecting zero emails from people saying, oh, Miss Kelty, I can't answer number six because I don't know what diffuse means. Before you send me an email with a confused question, make sure that you have read the text, you've read the vocabulary in the margins, and then that you actually understand what that word means in context, okay? If you have questions, I would love to help you with them after you have already done those things, okay? When you're done with this, you each have one that has been made for you. You're going to click Submit. I will give you feedback, and I will get it back to you for tomorrow, okay? Happy Thursday. Bye, guys.